We have ourselves a new green line test, and it's glorious. This test comes to us from the same man that birthed the green line test, Rivolino. There's an R-rated term for this test, but we're going to keep it PG-13 and call it the box test. It's a pretty simple test as couples take photos, and if the woman in the relationship, this is for heterosexual relationships, if her box is pointed towards her man, the box is delivered. However, if the box is pointed not towards her man and instead towards the world, that box is still in transit and you don't know where it's going to be delivered. When a couple passes the box test, they will be happy. But when they fail it, the side effects are significant, as you can see. Here's another example. Cole and Vanessa are happy. Fail will find themselves wanting more. The box test. Fellas, I really had to go do a real experiment with myself. I went through all the photos I could find of me in the picture with a woman that I'm dating. And guess what? I didn't find none like no Jada Pinkett pictures with them legs cocked face in the world, man. These women was looking at me. I'm not saying this is the end all be all, nor am I saying this is the gold standard to see whether or not your woman is totally into you or is she going to be cheating on you. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is this is a good starting point. You know the type of men she talking about was the men that ain't have no daddies and tell them that listen bro you don't got no worth in this world if you ain't producing nothing dog that's what it was i promise you a man who don't know his worth he ain't had no daddy or no real men around him to tell him that he gotta be effective in this world he gotta be a type of guy that people come to with their problems because he's known to solve them and you gonna always end up with women like that when you don't have the answers bro you gotta figure out how to Get in your lane and be productive, dog. Because once you do that, you're going to have access to some high quality women, and this one ain't it. The question you should ask before you marry her. Train right now, you. Yeah, that's your boy. Have you ever got a train ran on you? Your wife just sucked the meanest. Well, I know you know he's a lucky man. Have you ever got a train ran on? Jogong! Nick, have you got a rain on you? Hey man, can one of my subscribers or anyone who watches my channel please tell him to go focus on himself, please? What benefits do you get from having him as a friend? So the benefits that I get is like he can tell me like what guys are into me and what guys aren't. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go. See. What benefits does he get from having you as a friend? All right. It's it's you. I'm smiling, but it ain't funny. <laughs> different perspectives. You know what I mean? Every person is different. People are just people. If we like the same things, why can't we be friends? Doesn't matter who you are or what you are. If somebody tried to rob you right now, do you expect him to try and step in? Hey y'all, come look at this. Um, I feel like because he is my friend 100%. <laughs> if he's gonna risk his life for you, what do you think would be an equal benefit for him having you as a friend? I, I don't even know how to answer the question right now because like, I, 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 I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Come on now, dawg. Come on, man. Like I said, I, I don't look at it like that. I do for you what I would do for anybody. So for me, it makes no difference who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get any benefit with being friends with her if I was friends with you. Right. Yo, I hate this for him, right? Because he doesn't realize that this is a one-sided relationship. And he's trying to make himself not feel embarrassed by saying certain things. But we know what it is judging by the way she is dragging that wagon you can tell from the front that it's back there i know he wants to sleep with her and the problem is she doesn't want to sleep with him but he's trying to backdoor his way into that and it's not gonna work she don't find you attractive my boy only time you gonna get her is when she realizes that all these other dudes that she chose over you were complete and utter losers and you are a producer so she wants to give you that leftover coochie that's that's the only thing that's gonna come with this right I don't believe in having useless one-sided relationships with people in general. If I'm the one that's valuable in this 
uh, equation, then I'm sorry. I'm separating myself from the equation. I'm taking my X or my Y and I'm leaving that mother on the other side of the equal sign. Straight up. I'm going somewhere else, taking my talent somewhere else. It is what it is. Welcome to episode two of the dumbest shit I've ever let a man say or do to me and I let him get away with it because I had no self-worth. Official title. So this was about seven or eight years ago, which means I was about 29 or 30, which means I definitely should have known better. But anyway, full disclosure, full accountability, this man was a giant, fiery, steaming pile of red flags from jump, okay? Case in point, I met him while on a double date with his friend. My attraction to him lied in the fact that he was very tall, very handsome, and he could speak Spanish, which, you know, hola papi. <laughs> I'm so basic, oh my God. He was very messily divorced. We are talking messy, messy, messy. And uh, he had not one, not two, but three children. I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, and I would soon come to find out that he may or may not have been, he may, he may or may not have been addicted to, you know, yeah, the, the cocaine. I love cocaine. I love cocaine. <laughs> Obviously, this man was a gem, and you can totally see why I made myself believe that I was in love with him. <laughs> right? Right? No. We dated pretty intensely for about four to five months. Um, you know, talked every day, saw each other every day, uh, was in his kids' lives, which is such a red flag because why did I meet his children so soon? <laughs> You're that's reckless. So I'm thinking things are going pretty good and good is being used very loosely here, okay? Um, when all of a sudden he goes ghost for about three or four days, which like I said, we talked and saw each other every single day. So that was pretty out of character. You know, I'm asking him if we're good. He eventually is like, yeah, we're good. I'm just busy, which BTW, if anyone ever tells you that things are good and they're just busy, they are not busy and things are in fact not good, okay? I just wanna help someone. He ends up telling me that we need to talk and I think we all know what that means. He broke up with me. It's an evil world we live in. But he did say that he wanted to keep me in his life. And because I have an anxious attachment style, I was like, okay. Send this to someone who needs it. Hold this L. And he sure did keep me in his life in the form of his child care. Yep, you heard that right. I would watch his kids, help them with their homework, pick them up from school sometimes. I was basically their babysitter. Actually, no, I was less than a babysitter because at least babysitters get paid. And here's the best part. One of his kids ended up narking on him one day and letting me know that he was dating someone new, which means that this man was dropping his kids off at my house so I could babysit them while he went on dates with other women. <laughs> and I let it happen. That's pretty bad, right? Yeah. Also, why do I tell you guys these things? Fellas, this is when I like to think of evolutionary biology and when it goes wrong. Because if we was back in the hunter-gatherer days and she met this same tall, strong-looking man, then that would have been a great sign of him being a protector and a provider. But in 2023, well, she said this was seven years ago. So put it then, this is not a good indicator if this man's going to be a good partner for you, right? Based on him being tall, him being handsome. That doesn't apply to productivity in 2023, right? With that being said, women are so seriously lacking in maturity and common sense that she let herself go through all of this stuff. And I'm going to tell you where it stems from. Most of these women didn't have strong male providers in their life, aka fathers, because a woman with a dad ain't settling for no dude that can't do nothing for her. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but fellas, some of y'all ain't gonna never get the type of woman you want because you can't do nothing for her. I don't know when the lines got blurred to the point where men think that women are gonna just throw themselves at you if you don't provide something for them. You have to be a, an extremely attractive person. I don't care how good you say your game and your mouthpiece is. That's only gonna get you so far for so long. Eventually, she gonna need something that you can't do and she gonna leave you high and dry. It is what it is. But let me get back to this girl. <sighs> All of these red flags that she chose to overlook because women go for superficial surface level stuff. Even when they're 30 years old, which would put her at 37, 38 right now. Think about that. A 30 year old woman decided to get involved with a man purely off of his looks. At 30, no woman should be doing that, man. You should be trying to find a man that got a track record by this time. And that's why y'all end up being 40 and alone because y'all gonna give that man five, six years. And now it's over for you. 
you should have had something locked down by 30. You get what I'm saying? Look at those rings in her nose, bro. I'm telling y'all right now. Trauma and those rings are not sold separate. They are sold together. It's a pair. Like, you don't buy one sock. You buy a pair. And when a woman gets one of them bull rings and one of them rings, she got trauma, dog. I'm telling you what I know. But, man, a woman with a dad does not go for men like this because if that woman was given a good example of what a male provider protector was supposed to look like then she would have never gave that man a time of day men know that they are providers a man's value is his money and his career and a woman's value is her looks that's the truth and that's the world that we live in women get things because they are pretty and men have power because they have money and if you want a good looking woman you're going to be uh, spending money not every man wants a quote unquote good looking woman like you need to need that dope alone some men just want normal women he, he need to leave that dope alone yeah men like, without money that's not true i'm not dating a woman that's above a seven like, i'm just being real. real but if you could afford it you would yeah this was the loser slash beta male talking in this man because guess what any man right now if he's with us five and he is unhappy with his life let him come across some money and guess what he's gonna try to go and get the most attractive woman possible the most attractive and agreeable woman possible and i'll put it to you like this if you had the opportunity to date a woman and let's just say i'm a psychic and i know that both of these women are going to treat you phenomenally they're going to be loyal and never cheat on you right but one's a five and one's a ten if you say you're going with the five i don't even want you watching my videos because you're lying to yourself and you're lying to me all right fellas check this out i appreciate each and every one of y'all that continuously watch my videos shows me that i'm doing something right look we almost at 100k i just need probably like five or six thousand more if everybody who watches this video hit the subscribe button we'll get there probably in the next couple of days so do your boy solid man you say you're a real one you say you're real we'll hit that button for your boy man i appreciate y'all i ain't gonna stop the grind y'all know that I cannot take that, I can't take no more, I can't take no more, man I'm sick of these hoes, I'm so sick of these hoes, I can't take no more, I can't be a hero, I can't, I can't say these hoes, huh? real player like these rose this bitch crazy, here we go, blowing up my phone, burned up all my clothes,